Hi guys, Damien from version 3 Technology and this is a quick tutorial on how to unroute your Nexus 7. So let's just have a quick look just to show you that this is indeed a rooted Nexus 7. You can see super user there. Let's just load that up and let's just get rid of that screen and you'll see there we go allow titanium backup so that's a rooted nexus 7 so what we're going to do today is we're going to unroot and basically put that back to stock so that if it needs to go back for warranty we can do that so we're going to start off by actually there's a couple of prerequisites um obviously you need the as before you're going to need the android sdk installed you're also going to need to download the image file and I'll put an annotation there. I'm not going to go and download it again, but I'll bung an annotation up and it'll also be in the description. Let's get rid of that. And I'm going to open up the file that I've just downloaded. So we need to unzip this file. So if we double click or right click and unzip it with the archive utility, and that will uh, that will unzip four files. Now with these four files, we actually need to move these into the platform tools folder so let's just get that out of the way double click this and open up the android folder if you go into it into your platform into the sdk folder into the platform tools open the platform tools and just open this folder and basically just copy all four of these files across into that folder bam done and dusted you can get rid of that folder now you can get that out of the way you can either delete that i'm just going to shove this in the trash for now and we are virtually done with the the download and moving of folders we don't need to do any more of that the rest of this is going to be very very simple it's not a difficult process so let's undo a terminal window and this obviously is the manual way there is an all-in-one mac tool now if you want to use that but i mean it, it's just as simple to do it this way anyway in, in all fairness it's not a hard process so basically what we're going to do now is we're going to just literally cd into the platform tools folder i've showed you how to do that previously so i'm not going to show you again but if we have a look on the nexus 7 we need to make sure it's uh, plugged in and what we're going to do is settings go down to developer options and then up to the top you'll see a little toggle switch toggle that onto on just okay this and bam android debugging or usb debugging either one it'll be one of those click that okay that and we're ready to go and uh, do our thing so in here just check the devices there um which is dot forward slash adb devices i'll actually i'll do it correctly dot forward slash adb devices and there you go it lists the device you can see the device there the serial number so the next step is to literally just we need to we need to boot into the bootloader so um, the next stage of this process is literally going to be dot forward slash adb reboot boot loader make sure you spell it all correctly as it is on the video should nip across to the nexus 7 now and as you can see this is the bootloader for those of you who have followed my routing tutorial you'll you'll have seen this screen before and if you did well i'd hope you've seen this screen before if you've got an unrooted nexus 7 because it means you at some point you've done it but let's go back to the uh computer now that's just to show you what it looks like and i've just cleaned my terminal window so let's dot forward slash fast boot and with this fast boot we're going to flash and then you're going to need the you want to flash your bootloader so it's dot four slash fast boot flash bootloader and then the name of the file that we added into the platform tools folder which is bootloader dash grouper which is the name of the code name of the device dash 3.34 dot image hit enter and this will basically flash the bootloader of the device as you can see it's writing to the device now and we're going to nip over to the device and you're going to see just up in the top left hand corner there you can just see some text it's doing what it's got to do it will take a little while just leave it you'll notice that 
in a while this will actually just it'll literally go off and come straight back on again where it's I think it actually there you go I think it just reboots the bootloader but we'll actually go back to the computer and back into the terminal window and we will actually reboot this anyway just for peace of mind so let's dot forward slash fast boot reboot dash bootloader okay now that's actually rebooted the bootloader so the next step really now is to actually flash the stock image now this stock image you're going to be flashing is going to be 4.11 so it's dot forward slash fast boot minus w update image dash nakasi n a k a s i dash j r o zero three d dot zip just make sure you you can copy and paste the file name hit the go button ignore those archive does, does not contain it doesn't really matter it's still going to do its thing but if you want if you want to make sure you get all those commands right just copy and paste the 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 labels from the files in the platform tools folder the other one we moved over okay that would take a while anyway so that's done let's move back over to the device because we just need to literally just skip through the setup really quickly or as fast as you can get through it and what we're going to do now is literally just go back into settings or oh, actually I need to yeah, into settings and we're going to go back into developer tools or developer options toggle switch at the top again let's turn that on okay that and let's us hit usb debugging okay that as well that way we can get back into this device to um lock the device back up again because obviously if this is going back to factory you want it locked back up so it's uh it's really simple now let's just check the device is there actually no let's just reboot straight into this so dot four slash adb reboot bootloader and there you go you notice we're in the bootloader this unit is in an unlocked state as you can see here so we're going to use fast boot now to un or to literally oem lock this again which is a really simple command it's dot forward slash fast boot space oem space lock hit the go button you'll notice this will just take a while it, it's doing its thing so what we'll do is i'll just show you what it looks like in the terminal window first and then we'll go back to the device there you go it's done and in the device on the device you can just see it up top left hand corner you might not be able to see, you won't be able to see that text very well but it's doing its thing and trust me when it's done bam you've got a locked device that guys is it that is completely unrooted you are completely back to your factory state you could now send this back for warranty so all we're going to do is literally restart this using the arrows start power button to start there you go padlock's gone that basically will now boot up it'll take a while to boot up but that is it guys thanks for watching this video i'll see you all again soon cheers bye bye